Hi guys. So I came outside to make a video and it started to sprinkle a little bit. So I snuck in here to my greenhouse, which is currently cluttered and full of just stuff from the season that needs put away boxes and trays and all the things. I have some butternut butter baby squash up there that I left to cure that I should probably take into the house. And it's starting to sprinkle again, like I said. So if you hear that, I apologize. But I really need to make this video today. And I have my cup of coffee here and my cute little Halloween mug. This was a gift to me from a dear friend and he knows who he is. And I thank you, Mr. Claire, for this. And it is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna take a sip about on my coffee here and then we are gonna get into some things because there's some important stuff going on that we all need to be very focused on, so. All right, so. Um, we all were getting caught up to speed here. We know that there was a third. They stopped it before it was an attempt, but there was another man caught at a rally that had multiple guns and false IDs and everything else. They're trying to pass it off saying that he is conservative, whatever. Uh, we all know that if they didn't have lies, they wouldn't speak. So we know that that happened and a lot of people, you know, they're like, oh, he's, he's, you know, hopefully he gets elected. I want everybody to know something because he is supposed to be, I mean, he is looking like he's, Donald Trump will be the next president short of any foul play. Okay. That being said, the attempts on his life, once he is president, will not stop. Just so we're all on the same page here. Like they're going to keep coming for him. Um, I expect it would maybe intensify. I don't know, but it won't stop just because he's president, um, just because the election's over. This is going to continue to happen. And on that note, they also arrested a man in the name of, what was it? Not Hezbollah, but ISIS, that was um, planning a terror attack on the polling booths on election day. Okay, so we're also now being targeted that's everybody that's that's he wasn't discriminating like liberal conservative don't care gonna take them all out at the same time i am going to and i'm gonna talk about this a little bit more after i discuss what i have written here that being said i encourage you if you can get out an early vote go do it i am planning on finding my early voting location and going to do it i do not want to be out and about on voting day i think it's going to be chaotic to say mildly um voting day itself might not be bad but you don't know how many other people were out there planning these attacks like this other guy was so i just if you can get out and early vote do it watch your back um and also what i'm going to talk about here i have concerns for maybe not voting day itself but the days following okay so the big ticket item um when i woke up jeff sent me a um, message and i read it um and as soon as i flipped open youtube pinball was already talking about this so i want to cover this a little bit more um and it's so funny too because this happened on september 27th 2024 what happened on september 26th none of us were paying any attention to what bullshit they were passing okay because we just had a major horrific hurricane come through and devastate thousands of lives so we were all focused on what can we do to clean this up we were not focused on what is the government up to now okay but what they were up to the Department of Defense, uh, this is Directive 5240.01, okay? This was September 27th, it was updated. There are several things in there. This is based on civilians, okay? And there are several things in that that are of interest, but the most important one is Section 3.3, .3, which is Levels of Authority, Subset C, okay? And I wrote this down and I am going to add the screenshots of these documents here. Make sure you guys screenshot those and I want you to keep them and hang on to them and you can read them for your own reference. But I'm going to go over it here since that was uh, those were on there pretty quick. It wouldn't give you time to read unless you paused it. So what 3.3 subset C says, and in this whole section, the whole section is um, how they will direct 
adding, like sending people to help with situations. Okay. So people and so like, um, military and, um, supplies. Okay. So how they will direct it in subset C, it says assistance in responding with assets with potential for lethality in any situation in which it's reasonably foreseeable that providing the requested assistance may involve the use of force that is likely to result in lethal force, including death or serious bodily injury. It also includes all support to civilian law enforcement in officials in situations where a confrontation between civilian law enforcement and civilian individuals or groups is reasonably anticipated. So let that sink in for a second, okay? They are now saying that the United States military can fire on the civilians that they're meant to protect with lethal force. So number one, what are they planning slash expecting? Now, we all know that tensions are high. We all know that people have talked about a civil war again, civil unrest. We all know that they probably expect nothing good to come out of this election like we've all been talking about. But now they're saying it's okay for the military to use lethal force. And they're also weaponizing local law enforcement. That was that's in there too, where they're going to, you know, Hey, you guys want to use our equipment and kill people? Go for it. Where have we come? This should, this should make every single one of us, first of all, outraged. And second of all, it should make us like sick. The thought that this is where, this is where we are as a country. This is where we've come to. So as far as I see it, I mean, that's practically, I'm really trying guys. I'm really trying because my mind sees this as we're cool with going to war with our own people. That's what that is. Um, and I'm not okay with that. And, and to think that they, they amended that the day after Helene, when they knew nobody was paying attention when they knew nobody was going to do anything because we were too worried about taking care of our people. And we were taking care of people that were all people, liberals, conservatives, Democrats and, and Republicans, libertarians, didn't matter. Everybody was being taken care of and looked after. And they still are. Those people still need so much help and so much support. Um, I want you guys, if you are not already following um, Parma Pastures Farm, Billy, uh, him and his son ha and his wife have been volunteering and going to all these places and they just did a live podcast and they will tell you some things that you really need to hear about the situations that are going on down there. And it is going to be forever until these people get back up on their feet. So it's hard to keep giving. It's hard to keep doing, but we have to pull through for them because nobody else is going to. So keep that in mind. But all of that to say, get out an early vote. You have to, you have to get out an early vote because first of all, we, you're not guaranteed to be safe when you go to your polling place on election day. Like you're not guaranteed to be safe. Nothing's guaranteed in this life. And I am aware of that, but it's, it's evident now. And I don't know whether, okay. So I don't know whether that was that man really planning something or was it set up to scare people away from the polling places you don't know anymore. And that's the crazy part. That's the thing that makes me just awestruck in this is because you don't know what's up. You don't know what's down. They keep you in a constant state of confusion where you don't know what to believe anymore. And that's, that's what they want. That's by design. You know, that's, if we stay confused and pitted against one another, then they win. So we need to come together work together, find truth, share truth. Don't fight it. You know, when you do your research, find out for yourself that these things are, this is real. This is real. That's real. It's amazing to believe that that is real. That is something that you would think you would see in a movie, but no, it's real. So take the time, do the research, realize that these things really are happening and then band together so that we can stand up and say, no, we don't want this. This isn't, this isn't, this is not, the, this is not the American way. That's not what, this is some third world country crap that's going on. Um, 
So yeah, I'm sorry if I don't sound as chill and smooth spoken as usually, but man, after seeing, <laughs> after witnessing an attempt on Donald Trump's life and seeing somebody be murdered in the process, after all the crap that's been going on and the traumatic stuff that is Helene, if anybody's paying attention, like I know it's not on the regular news, but I've been watching it very closely because it just rips my heart right out of my chest to see all of that go on. And now this, this has been a, there's been a lot this year. There's been a lot. <laughs> this is a lot. But I don't know what the answer is. I don't know how we address this. If you guys have opinions, um, leave them in the comments down below. I just think it's wild that we live in a country where now it's fine for the military to fight against its citizens. That seems a lot like Nazi Germany, huh? or Soviet Russia, um, the USSR, or how about communist China? That's where we are. That's, that's where we are now. Kiss the independence of America goodbye. You can't gather in groups. It doesn't say about peaceful. It doesn't say about peaceful. Um, and I wrote this word from word. You can go and look it up yourself, but, um, mm, in situations where confrontation between civilian law enforcement and civilian individuals or groups is reasonably anticipated. So it does not say, it says confrontation. It does not say riots or murder or anything like that. It says confrontation. So could that be a group of protesters standing around with picket signs and they can come in and use lethal force? That's what this is saying. So you understand where we're at. This is vital, important to be passed around like we need to share this information because a lot of people weren't paying attention and reasonably so I had other videos I wanted to share today but this one rattled my cage this one highest of importance so please do your best to prepare um, stock up as much goods as you can I really don't think anybody should I really think you should plan not to leave your home for like a month if you can. That's great. If you, if nothing else happens, then you just have backup goods that you can use and don't have to go to the grocery store for a bit. That's great. And that's what I hope for. But the fact of the matter is we may be in a situation where you can't reasonably leave your home, especially people living in cities. Out here where I am, we're going to be largely unaffected unless some crazy group of people comes in from outside. Um, that's not to say that it wouldn't get here eventually, but at, on voting day, you know, like my polling place is so rural that I don't think I have a problem, but I'm talking about inner city areas. I'm talking about suburbs. I'm talking about any place that already appears to have conflict. Those are the places of heightened concern. I would say should be prepared. Make sure you have what you need to defend yourself and your family. Make sure you have what you need to have food and water and whatever you need in your house for a month. Two months would be even better because, you know, you think November, December, and even into January, inauguration, it's just going to all snowball. I know some people have short space. I'd be tucking it under beds. I would be stacking it on tables, under tables. I would be stacking stuff wherever on the couch next to you if you need to it makes a nice water can be a good foot rest or coffee table you get what i'm saying um i just don't think it's gonna be good and now now they have grounds to do whatever they want is that martial law who knows we knew that the months leading up to the election were gonna get more and more intense and it's it's almost here and I don't know that there will be any one big October surprise, like a lot of people are saying, but I think it's a whole bunch of things that are just building up and getting snowballed at you and you don't know what's what. And now you're going to be worried to go to the polling place. Focus. Let's get out and vote. Let's do it early if you can. If not, watch your back. Pay attention to your surroundings. Get in, get out. We need to do this, guys. The future of our country depends on 
the results and then the survival of Donald Trump because I'm super concerned. I'm super concerned. And I think we all should be. So the biggest thing is though, if people would just open their eyes and understand that we have more common grounds than not, right now our biggest common ground is, <laughs> you know, the military could just take us all out. It's fine. It's totally fine. So with that, I'm going to get off of here because I have a huge project I need to get done today. And if I think, I'll bring you guys along with me and that'll be like tomorrow's video. Um, so I hope you guys have a great day. Please go prepare yourself and go vote early. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.